Oh, greetings and welcome to Pacific Source in the Kitchen. Um, it's National Pi Day. You know uh, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter with an infinite number of digits? <clears throat> well, uh, if your mind didn't exactly think about mathematics when I said the word pi, then you're probably thinking of the beloved food category that also has a circumference plus an infinite number of possibilities of being delicious. Pi is arguably the most recognized and celebrated baked good in the world. It typically finds itself at the forefront of holidays, special events, cozy diners, and charming farm stands everywhere. Pie can be sweet, filled with medleys of fruit, custards, nuts, dairy, and cream fillings, or pie can be savory, packed with meat, poultry, seafood, mushrooms, or gravy. Although there's no doubt pie can be a delightful treat to enjoy on occasion, when we look at some of the more common options in this category from a nutrition lens, there is still much to be desired. Pies are usually packed with an excessive amount of carbohydrates in the form of simple sugars and starches, something we have to be cautious with when trying to manage our weight or controlling our blood sugar. Pies are also a notorious culprit for containing large amounts of processed shortening and butter, which are sources of fat that those managing their heart disease risk may want to limit. Today, I want to show you a different take on pie for Pie Day and prove that this amazing circular dish can be wholesome, healthy, and anything but traditional. We'll explore a savory and heart-healthy version of a breakfast favorite, the garden frittata. Afterwards, we'll dip into our sweeter side with a light and fluffy lemon pie, so let's get cooking. We'll start with our heart-healthy garden frittata. A frittata, like a quiche, is an egg-based savory pie that's usually mixed with a colorful variety of ingredients and then baked. Unlike a quiche, however, frittatas don't have a crust, which automatically eliminates a large amount of calories without sacrificing any flavor. To get started, we'll need an egg base. For this recipe, I'm using something called egg beaters, which are essentially egg whites fortified with the nutrition of whole eggs, without any of the added fat from the yolk. These are a flavorful and heart-healthy substitute for whole eggs for those managing their saturated fat intake. We'll add one and a half cups of egg beaters to a mixing bowl. Next, we'll add a half cup of reduced fat shredded Swiss cheese and a quarter of a cup of fat-free skim milk. We'll whisk these together and set this aside. For our vegetables, we'll be using one cup of chopped asparagus, one chopped small onion, and one small chopped tomato, all of which we'll be cooking in a greased, medium-sized oven-proof pan. I chose this combination of veggies because they pair so well with eggs and cheese, but you can really use any of your favorite veggies for this recipe. Next, we'll head to the stove. First, we'll preheat our oven to 400 degrees and set our stovetop heat to medium. We'll cook our vegetables on medium heat for about five minutes. I really love this recipe because not only does it make for an awesome protein-rich breakfast, but it's also pretty great for lunch and dinner too. Um, often in the same day, this frittata won't stick around for long. We'll reduce our stovetop heat to low, then add the egg beater mixture. Cover with a lid and cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges of the frittata appear fully cooked. While that cooks, we'll prep tonight's dessert, a sweet, tangy, fluffy lemon pie. This is essentially a lower sugar, lower fat, and higher protein version of a lemon meringue pie that boasts a similar flavor. Even better, it's incredibly easy to prepare, requiring only minimal cooking and assembly. To get started, we'll add one packet of sugar-free lemon gelatin to a mixing bowl and combine with a quarter of a cup of boiling water. Next, we'll mix in two six ounce containers of lemon flavored Greek yogurt plus one eight ounce container of sugar-free whipped topping. We'll 
Lastly, we'll pour our mixture into a nine inch pie crust. For this recipe, I'm using a walnut based pie crust, which you can find at your local grocery store. These use a combination of walnuts and flour, so actually have less carbs or starch than a normal pie crust. Cover our pie and refrigerate for two hours. Now, let's check back on the frittata. This looks great. I'm going to place the uncovered pan in the oven for an additional two to three minutes or until the top of the frittata appears firm and cooked. This looks perfect. I'm going to slice this into quarters and serve up for a tasty breakfast. Wow, that is so delicious. It has such a delicate, light texture, but the vegetables provide a little bit of crunch and it has such a great savory flavor as well. Now, let's check on our lemon pie. Wow, this looks delicious. I can't wait to slice into this tonight after dinner. We hope that these recipes help you to explore the world of pies from a healthier point of view, so you can make any day pie day. On behalf of Pacific Source, be well and take care.